Hello everyone, my name is Eve, welcome to Jumperman Tech, and today I will be showing you how to properly distribute power when using multiple graphic cards and PCIe risers. So your goal is to start with your PSU, your power supply. I am using the EVGA 1000 GQ. The goal is to properly distribute power in a safe manner. The way I go about powering up my cards is by running an independent power source to my graphic card and the riser associated with it. And that's all. For the second card, I would run a separate power supply powering up only that graphic card and its associated riser. So I'll be showing you a demonstration on how I got this achieved. So coming straight from my power supply, I'm running one VGA cord, and that is a six pin terminal, which I ran into a splitter right here. So here's power coming in, it goes into the splitter, once it's connected just like this. So the way this works is power comes in right here. We made our connection and it gets distributed in two ways. So it's on one power source, it feeds right here, this set of cables, which feeds the riser. And then it sets and it feeds this set of cables, which feeds the graphic card. And it's as simple as that. So here's a second independent power source, which also gets split off in two directions. One for the graphic card and the other for the riser associated with it. Depending on the graphic card or riser you are using, the type of connection to power it up may vary. It can be a Molex connection, it can be a SATA connection, it can be various connections. But the point is to distribute the power properly and safely, the concept remains. One independent source to, to feed both one graphic card and its associated riser. If anybody found this video helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow, and I'll see you guys next time.